it's, it's been a pretty good thing for the community in that since 1959, it's been a meeting place for the area youth. The skating rink started in 1959, and if you can relate to Facebook today and back to 1959, the Troy Skateland was really the Facebook of, of that time. That is where everyone met, met and to socialize, exercise, or just have fun. Um, it draws people into the community, so it, you know it helps um, add value to the community in that way as well. Um, people come from all over, Elmira, Tawanda, uh, Wellsboro, Mansfield, Covington, they, they come from all over to enjoy the skating, skate land. So I would say it's had a positive impact. Into the future, uh, and just like in the past, I just want to keep it a viable uh, option for the area youth and the families or different organizations. Um, one of the ways to do that, you know, throughout time, everything evolves. Skate, skating has had its ebbs and flows. Uh, from the time that I've owned the skating land, I've always wanted to make it more than just a skating rink. And that's where we've added, you know, the, the roller hockey, the street hockey, the soccer. I just want it for the future to be continued to use as, as a good place for one, the youth to have a place to go, hang out in a safe environment. Also at the same time, getting sneaking in some exercise and also they get to work on their social skills in that way more than in front of a PC or a cell phone. So with the history of Troy Skateland being built um, by Rand Van Zyl and his wife and run by his family for, for many, many years, it's been uh, quite a thing to have that there's only been four owners since 1959 with the originators Ray Van Zyl and his family starting it. Um, it has survived many different economic environment. It has survived three floods to date. There'll be another one sometime. We just don't know when. Uh, but to have the skate land go through the history that it did is, is quite remarkable, not only for the skate land, but for the community. part for me is to keep the skating rink open and as different generations come in, I continue to hear, man, I used to do this when I was a kid. I used to do this when I was a kid. So to hear that we can do that generation after generation is really good. And that's what I want to keep going moving forward. I want, you know, I've had it long enough that the, the, the young kids that were there when I took it over have now progressed into their next phase. They're having kids, they're bringing them in, and it's just been a good continuation. So it's rewarding to see that it's still a viable option and, and people, kids of all ages, still enjoy skating.